he did it. Made his first all-star team. Congratulations. Inferences drawn from season statistics can sometimes illuminate potential areas of improvement. And next for L.A., Tristan Yeager, the American League leader in batting average this season. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Pitch out, but no action. Otani off of first with two away. Out towards right center field. Robles in position. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's Victor Robles. The 0 2 to third. Fires across the diamond. That ends the inning. One left for Oakland. They trail it here 2 0. Two outs, runner at first. And next for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. 0 for 1 so far. And it's fouled away. Jaeger getting to start at the hot corner, hitting fifth in today's lineup. A former American League Cy Young Award winner. Now a screamer into the outfield. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that ends the end. Tristan Jaeger, the next to hit for the Angels. That one fouled off. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one back there. And gone! His 47th home run of the season, and they slide in front in the sixth. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. And it finds its way through for a hit. Otani around second, headed for third. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Up next for the Angels. First and third, two away. Yu Chang, the next to hit for the Angels. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Carpenter under it. Makes the grab. That is the inning. Here's Logan Davidson. Here's the 0-2. On the ground, two ball. Feed to second, oh. that's one, and that's two. Here's the third baseman, Tristan Yeager. He's already homered in this game. Now, Out towards left center. Carpenter settles underneath it. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And they trail by one. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats, but he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. Close one here today. Just about set to go now. And on the mound in this one, Louis Varlin. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, thing. he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Last time out, it just seemed like he... Hammered down the line. Could be extra bases. Low, around third. 
He'll score easily. And it's 1-0. Oh, Not in time. He's got a double. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there. So once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. You, and that's ball four. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And here it comes. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. The run comes in from second, and they lead by two. Still able to come through behind in the count. Level. Now it's the DH for the Angels. Tristan Yeager doubled his first time up. Jaeger, a former All-Star, 22 years old, and he was a third-round pick in 2023. Right side, Winker should have it. Makes the grab one away. Throw, and it gets away. And now it's the Angels' cleanup batter, Tristan Jaeger. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Winker to third. And the throws off line, safe at third. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. To first, and they've got him picked off. To second, and he's out. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Now he'll turn for second. It's a double, and he's three for four tonight. Waste no time there. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Jaeger stands at second with two gone. And ball four, two aboard. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. The pitch. On the ground to the left. Grenier. Zips it across. That's the third out. So now here's the DH. Tristan Yeager. And a foul ball. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Here's your one. Slapped foul. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Swing, and this ball is hammered. No doubt about it. Out of here. Grand slam. He'll touch them all. His 48th of the year, and they add on. It's 9-4. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this yeah, pretty tight ball game up until the eighth inning, and that's really the time where you expect things to lock Our down. But the offense tonight. broke out, Third incredible outburst, and just put this game out of reach. No errors. They left 16 men on base. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Caden Grenier. Not shortstop. The wind of the pitch. Grenier. Bounce to the right side. Arroyo whips it to first. One up, one down. Here's Logan Davidson. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Two up, two down. 
Andrew Vaughn now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Oh, and there's a ball. One and oh. On the ground at first. Takes it himself. Oh. And that is the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now the left fielder, Kerry Carpenter. Foul ball. Jaeger, the former Cy Young Award winner, he throws a knuckleball, a four-seamer, a curve, a fork ball, and he works in a two-seamer. Got him looking for the K. Knuckler just floated down into the zone for strike three. Next to hit, Shea Langoliers. Over to low, and a couple of quick outs. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. That's through there for a strike. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Ooh, he missed a mistake right there. The 0-2. That's out to center field. Chang on his way over. Base hit as he pulls up short. The throw into second, and he's out. Cut down, and that is. And welcome back at the play. Victor Robles. This ball's chopped on the ground. Whips it to first on the run. He beats it out, and the tapper turns into an infield single. A.J. Vukovic up next for the A's. Two for six so far in the series. It was a healthy cut, but the same can't be said for the contact. He got just enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play for the defense on what was kind of a swinging bunt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Jesse Winker. The right fielder. And first offering is fouled off. Jaeger measures six feet, two inches, 210 pounds. He's a former American League MVP. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. One down, one down. Struck him out looking. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts, so. They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Throws to first, and that is the inning. The A's strand one. Back here at the ballpark, and now the DH, Logan Davidson. He swings and fouls one off. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. He's 0 for 1. That one down the line. He'll do it himself. Yep. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Carpenter batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Hit in the air, right field. Ball, ball, ball. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing there for the A's. They still find themselves down. Six zip. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and here is Shea Langoliers. The catcher. In there at the knees. Strike one. You know, these A's, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. He goes down looking. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Out there to center. 
got it. I go. Weimer hauls it in, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in for Oakland, Victor Robles. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh and one. Back up the, oh, that got him. Over to first, bang, bang, play, and the inning is. Bottom of the sixth inning, striding to the plate now for Oakland, A.J. Vukovic. There's the strike, Vukovic, in his second season, 25 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round in 2020. Got it by him for the K. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Next offering is in for a strike. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ground ball up the middle. Arroyo whips it to first. Two up, two down. The batter number six. So the batting order Good turns shot. over. And the batter will be the shortstop, Caden Grenier. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, they've kept him pretty right quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. So now one and two. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And the A's are gone in order. Still up against a six, nothing deficit. Back here in the East Bay, now the number two hitter, Logan Davidson. Nobody here, nobody. And he deals. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Oh, and two now. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Vientos on the move. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one down. And here's the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Swing and a bouncer. Tosses to first. And a couple of quick outs. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Carpenter in the box again. Takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Up the middle. Over to low. And that is that. Bottom of the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Shea Langoliers. Next pitch is popped up. Vientos settles under it. I got it. And there's one down. Abraham Toro, the next to hit. That one's in there, 0 1. Hey, we got one down here, one down. There's a swing and a miss. And the 2 Swings and misses. He swung over top of the curveball. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. And fouled off. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Low makes a nice grab at a full sprint. A's go quickly and quietly. There. Last chance for the home team. Now here is A.J. Vukovic. And a foul ball. And now the lefty. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet was my wrist and my hand. Caught him looking for the K. 
Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. On the ground. The Intels whips it to first, and Winker is set down. So the lineup flips over. Next up for the A's, Caden Grenier. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels win the rubber match of this three-game series. This one ends 7-0 for Chris. I'm just... Now the third baseman, Tristan Yeager. Right now the leading RBI man in the American League. He's been huge this season. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Low. Around third. Outman throws to second. The run comes in to score from second. And they take a two-run lead. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Up the middle, Bush. And that'll do it. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. That one is absolutely belted. That's bad. And that one is off the batter's eye. Wow, out of here. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Now Here's Mookie right. now. Mookie. Yeah. Oh, and Chu now. Tap softly third base side, a swinging bunt. Tosses to first, and the inning is over. Now, Tristan Yeager. He's already homered here in this one. Ripped on a line. Can't get their base hit. Otani around second, headed for third. The relay throw. The run scores from first, extending their lead. It's 5-2. And now Tristan Yeager. He's already homered in this game. Rips that one center field. And that's a base hit. They won't test it here. Base is loaded. No outs. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And a swing and a miss, and one away. Here's Christian Arroyo, one for three. 
Misses inside. Two balls, no strikes. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Pitch misses there. Three balls, no strikes. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the walk. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Cruz over to Bush. There's one. And that's two. And your final six to two for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Tonight, first for the victorious Angels, six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. A big game for him last night. He had four hits in that one. Come on, baby. Ground ball right side, and it's through for a hit. Here's Otani flying around third. In there safely. And it's 1-0. <laughs> Yu Chang, the next to hit for the Angels. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Cruz moving under it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Here's Christian Arroyo. Two two now. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two away. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look in, I think. But you know that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. This to third. They take the force out, and that is that. Here's a big power threat. Tristan Yeager. That one ripped. Uh -oh. go, 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 go. And off the base of the wall. He's in at second with a one-out double. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Bet settles underneath it and makes the grab. Out number two. Man at second here with two away. Christian Arroyo, the next to hit for the Angels. Struck out swinging his first time. That one hit to right. Bet settles underneath it. Makes the catch inning over. Two outs with a man at third. Here's the third baseman, Tristan Yeager. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And that one hammered Outman. Going back on this one. It's gone! James Outman getting ready to hit. One for two. And a pitch. Softly hit to third, Jaeger. Fires over to first. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. Now the third baseman, Tristan Jaeger. Fought off foul. And that one fouled off. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Let's go now, one time. 0 and 2 now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. That one hammered center field. Way back there. And it's out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. His second home run of the game.
after four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the up and down. Back in Seattle, top of the second. So in now for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. Hammer, base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. In the air, left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Checks over to first. Back safely. Luis Castillo, a guy who debuted in 2017 with the Reds at 24 years old, multiple All-Star appearances, traded to the Mariners at the deadline in 2022. You think about that triple-digit fastball, but the changeup is the thing that stands out. Yeah, and you could argue that he's got the best changeup in baseball. From the right side, it's like a Bugs Bunny pitch and works so well off of his fastball. And here is Andy Pajas. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Out there. And the two outs, nobody on. Here's a big power threat. Tristan Yeager. And first offering is fouled off. Swung on. Belted. This one's got a chance. And that is gone. Power versus power right there. Stepping in the long ball threat, yeah, Tristan Yeager. He's already homered here in this one. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Yeager measures six feet, two inches, 22 years old. And of course, has a Cy Young to his credit. And there's a foul ball. 
He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Here's the 0 2. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, that ball's hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Here's Otani flying around third. The relay pulls into third safely. A run comes in on the play. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is. Ground ball up the middle. Toss to Sano. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Back at T-Mobile Park, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. And he drops it down the third baseline. Now the throw to first on the run. Got him as he tried to bunt his way aboard. Digging in, Tristan Yeager. Looking to complete the cycle with a double. That one hooked foul. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Guriel off the of first with two away. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Looks like this guy was looking out over. Man at first, Kevin Parada up next for the Mariners. Ground ball left side could be two. That's a hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. He needed that one. It's been. And next for L.A., Tristan Yeager. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. He gets the intentional walk here and now a force at any base with two gone. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. The other way base hit right field in to score from third back to a one run game it's seven six well done drives in the run showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way didn't get jumpy didn't try to pull the ball he let it get deep took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing packs and misses it's a strikeout one run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Second inning set to go. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Tristan Yeager. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And next for the Angels, Yu Chang. Ball in one now. This one popped up. Number 43 settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. Here's Christian Arroyo. Three hits last night. So he was a big factor in getting that win. To the right side. Over to second for one. Over to first, safe. Good late life on that inside fastball. Ran in on the hands. And now it's the Angels cleanup batter. Tristan Yeager. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful. When you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and uh, these type of home run totals. The throw to second, and that's two. Nothing doing here this. 
And next will be the cleanup hitter, Tristan Yeager. One for two. Hit hard, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Now batting. And now the shortstop, Yu Chang. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Hey, let it rip one time. And the right hander deals. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Ben Intendi moving under it. He's got it, and there's two away. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. So two down, and now it's going to be Christian Arroyo. 0-2 oh now. High fly ball out towards left field. That ball's carrying. That one is gone. Man, he just barely got Now it's the DH for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. Out of here! The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. And now for Seattle, Tyro Estrada. The pitch. Swing it a foul straight back. Jaeger, the former MVP, he throws a knuckleball, a four-seamer, a curve, a forkball, and he works in a two-seamer. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Next is the designated hitter, J.P. Crawford. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Left-hand batter waits. Popped up. Arroyo in position. Hauls it in for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Andrew Benintendi up next for the Mariners. In there for strike one. Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. The wind of the pitch. And right back to the mound. The throw to first, and Benintendi is out. Out with. We head to the bottom of the second, and the batter now, Julio Rodriguez. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Out to short. Lawler tossed to first. That's one out the bottom of the second. Ronnie Mauricio now. Swinging a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. Swinging a pop-up. Lawler under it. And it's caught for the out. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Just a slow ground ball this time. Not in time. He legs it out. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. Next offering is in for a strike. Fell off to a great start. He's really crew. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that'll do it. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Here's a speed threat. Harry Ford. And first offering is fouled off. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse Go after hitters and get quick outs. Brian Anderson stands in now and watches strike one. 
next offering is fouled back. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Nasty fork ball for strike three. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Bounced up the middle. And that one handled. He's in there. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Crawford, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Pulls that one foul. Hey, two down here. On the ground, out to short. They get the force. Third out, and that ends the frame. Ready to go for the last Come half on. of the inning. That attendee to start it. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. One of the things that's cool is Rodriguez, even as young as he is, has formed kind of a neat relationship with Ichiro Suzuki. They met back in 2019 when Julio asked to take a photo with Ichiro, and the relationship has grown since then. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. No, no surprise that as a kid, Julio Rodriguez says he admired Alex Rodriguez, Manny Ramirez, David Ortiz, and Ichiro Suzuki, among others, as far as guys he looked up to in the big leagues, and those are some pretty good players in my opinion. The why to kick the pitch. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one-two. Bottom of the inning. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. It's softly on the ground left side. Over to low. They go 5-3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop spot in the shift. Sano now in the box comes up empty with a swing there lifted in the air right center field Pajes has a beat on it and there's two down here's the catcher to hit Harry Ford this one popped up foul ground first base side low makes the grab and that's the inning Mariners well, we go bottom six. Here's the third baseman, Brian Anderson. Jaeger back to work. Anderson in his ninth season, 33 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. Swing and a miss struck him out. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. To first... And Estrada is out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Fouled off to the right. Crawford, an all-star a season ago, a member of the 1,000 hit club, a former first-round pick. Back in... Ah, that he's ends out. the inning, so we take a break. Bottom of the seventh, and now Andrew Benintendi. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Kicks and fires. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. 
He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Mauricio in the box now. No balls and a strike. And it's even up. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. On the ground to third. That ends the frame. Back here at the ballpark. And now Teoscar Hernandez. There's the strike. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Here's Miguel Sano. There's a strike. No action in the bullpen, though. Looks like they're going to let him stay out there. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The 0 2. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Stretches out and hauls it in. Get ahead, stay ahead. Ford in the box again. Takes a strike. Next offering is foul back. The 0 2. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Welcome back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And now, Brian Anderson. And this is very likely the last chance he gets to keep his hitting streak alive. And ball one. In for a strike. And a count one and one. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Back to the top of the lineup, Tyro Estrada up next for the Mariners. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Swings through that one for strike two. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. That hanging, breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter, and nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels take the first three games of this four-game set. Nine-nothing, your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. No errors. They left 16 men on base. So two down. So in now for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. He flexes his power with that swing. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Jaeger in his second season, 22 years old. A former American League Cy Young Award winner. Line drive, and that's a base hit to right. And that keeps the inning going. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over. One out, runner at second. And now the DH, Tristan Yeager. He's already homered in this game. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Run comes in from second, and it's a one-run game. 
Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Ground ball left side could be two. The flip, Mauricio to second to Sano. Double play. So base is loaded with one away. Here's a big power threat, Tristan Yeager. He's already homered here in this one. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Right side, diving, and he can't make the play. One runs in. Now the second run is in, and it's 8-4. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Durant makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's now 9-4. to four. Man, there's a sack fly to bring home another run in this inning. These guys are just piling it on. We're seeing some really quality at bats out of this team right now. Gathers and throws to first. And that is the third out of the year. Back in Seattle, new inning getting started. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. That's a laser base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Man at first, and now it's Mark Vientos. Check on the runner, and they got him! Well, when you reel off eight wins in a row, you're this close to double digits. Right. 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 It's mid-July, and the second half of the season is in full swing and he's in the hunt for the Cy Young Award, an honor given to the best pitcher in each league. Ron Darling joins us now, and Ron, while still somewhat early, this looks like it's his award to lose. You know, there are a lot of seasons where I was on the top of that list, you know, the top five guys that have a chance maybe to bring it home. But the one thing I've noticed, not only as a player, but as a broadcaster, is that September means so much. I've seen so many pitchers lose to Cy Young in September and so many pitchers win it in September. So positioning yourself in July and August to be in the hunt is one thing, but it's going to take a big September. Get out!
So first and second with two outs. Now here is Tristan Yeager. Five for five yesterday. He was incredible to watch in that one. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Gilbert moving under this one. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Runner at first with two away. And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. He's already homered in this one. On the ground to third, Jaeger. Out number three. Tristan Jaeger, the next to hit for the Angels. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. He's safe. Here's the shortstop at the play. Yu Chang. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Two away. Now a throw to first, and he won't get back in time. Man at first with one gone. And next for L.A., Tristan Yeager. One for two. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. Out of here. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch it from the. Now the third baseman, Tristan Yeager. He's already homered in this game. Swing, and this one's crushed. No doubt about it. Grand slam. Wow, down fourth, late in the game. Things aren't looking too Now it's going to be Kyle Mansardo. The 2 1. Puts a bunt down. Jaeger. Fires to second for one. Tristan Jaeger, the next to hit for the Angels. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Here comes the 0 1. Swung on, belted. That one's back. Out of here. Ball game. He'll circle the bases, and the Angels walk it off for the win. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Angels, 11 runs on 14 hits. Two errors, they left nine runners on base. One down. Here's the third baseman, the third baseman. Tristan Yeager. Big game last night. He went four for five. And first offering is fouled off. Robert Valdez had a great 2022, an all star, and of course, as well, his Astros won the World Series. And that one fouled off. Yeah, Boog, in an ERA of under three, pitched over 200 innings, and looks like they were easy innings for him and finished fifth in the American League Cy Young Award voting. No trouble here, puts it away. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Yu Chang, the next to hit for the Angels. And he's already singled in this game. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Lucero makes the catch. Inning over. Angels. So two down. Now it's the shortstop. Jeremy Pena. Outfield playing very deep. Not wanting anything over their heads. Line to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that. So up next, Tristan Yeager. Right 
And first offering is fouled off. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. Base hit and a run in to score. Knocks it down. The throw in. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind the way that he's... And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. So they get one run on two base hits. Two outs, runner on first. And now the center fielder, Will Benson. And a pitch. On the ground to third. Not in time. He's safe. The batter. Base is empty one away. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back. That one is gone. The pitcher knew as soon as that well, Boop, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. One down. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. Drill to the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. That was a moonshot, and they add a pair. It's 3-1. That one won't stay. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. He's already homered here in this one. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. And out of here. He came out of his shoes on that one, but man. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Tristan Yeager. Hey, get your pitch right here. Come on. And man. here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And that one's gone. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just... First and second, two down. Next to hit, Tristan Yeager. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. And that one pulled foul. Looked like he got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. And the 0-2. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. His fourth home run of the game. And they tack up. I'd say these guys really needed to win this game today. It pushed him over the top to win the series.
a manager draws attention to a telling defensive stat. Now at the plate, Victor Robles. The pitch. And a foul ball. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Warming Bernabeu now at the plate as he swings through strike one. That one's in there. And the count is 0-2. This one in the air right field. Pajas makes the catch. One down. Here's Tim Anderson. Swing and a foul straight back. You know, Boog, I can relate to Tim Anderson with my football background and baseball background. He played Little League Baseball, but then decided to focus on basketball until he got hurt his sophomore year of high school. He then went back to baseball as a junior. Four years later, the White Sox made him a first-round draft pick. Tim made a good choice. Yes, he did. Swing and a miss. And that's his 200th strikeout of the season. And now it's Dalton Varsho. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. in Anaheim all set for the start of the inning and now it's the switch inning second baseman Luis Rangifo that's in there and that's strike one Jaeger a former all-star he throws a knuckleball a four seamer a curve a fourth ball and he works in a two seamer swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout Ryan Jeffers at the plate Fouled off. He was late. And strike two. Swings through it for the K. He swung over top of the curveball. Here's Matt Chapman. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And now the first baseman, number 82. Foul ball. Here comes the 1. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering is foul back. The 0-2. Gets a piece. And stays alive. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Here comes the pitch. Up the middle. Arroyo whips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Max Kepler in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Top of the third, no score. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Up the middle, Chang. Fires to first on the run. And that quickly, two away. Here's Victor Robles. 
in there and it's 0-1. Robles, 29 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to low. And the Blue Jays go down 1-2. Out of the fourth. Now the number two hitter. Warming Bernabeu. And a foul ball. The pitch. And a foul ball. 0-2 oh now. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And there's one down. And now the shortstop, Tim Anderson. That's in there. Strike one. A moment everyone thinks of with Tim Anderson is the walk-off homer he hit in the inaugural Field of Dreams game in 2021. That felt like a movie. Yeah, and it was a movie that Tim Anderson had never seen. Throw to first. Great stretch, and they got him. And it's fouled away. Foul ball, it stays, nothing in two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Next oh. offering down in the dirt. One ball, two straight. And that just misses. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Nasty fourth ball for strike three. Down in we go to the top of the fifth, and now for the Jays, Luis Rangifo. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. On the ground, Chang. On the run, throw to first. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Swings and misses, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Chapman in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. And he deals. Gets a piece and it stays 0 2. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Nothing doing. Back here at Angel Stadium, leading off number 82. Jaeger back to work. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Bounce to the right. Slings to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Vientos flashes the leather on the run and catch. Popped up. Chang oh, under this ball. one. And he makes the catch. And that is that. Make it. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. And now the DH warming Bernabeu. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Puts the squeeze on that one. One away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Anderson stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Varsho at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Next offering is fouled back. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third. 
And welcome back. We're at the top of the eight. And now for the Jays, Luis Rangifo. Swing and a ball popped up. Arroyo in position. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And next for Toronto, Brian Jeffers. That's to third, and it stays fair. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now, not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Center field, Weimer on his way in. Makes the grab on the run. And that will end the. Back in Anaheim, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now batting Max Kepler. Jaeger back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Goes down looking. Well, he's showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Back to back strikeouts. So they're down to their final out. And now warming Bernabelle. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And that drops in for a strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels get a shutout on the mound. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Now from Angel State... Welcome back. Stepping in the long ball threat, Tristan Yeager. And a pitch. Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn. So now it's the full hole hitter, Tristan Yeager. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. That one ripped. And it's gone. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think Tristan Yeager digs in now. The designated hitter, Tristan Yeager. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in. And now it's the Angels' cleanup batter, Tristan Yeager. That's hard hit on the line. Brings it in for the third out. Angels go quietly there. 
Well, all game, these guys had to battle with that 10th man, those fans making a lot of noise, but they took the lead in the ninth Bears inning, quieted things down, tonight. and were able to get those final three outs in the bottom half as well. Just a very well executed ball game. And next for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. Ripped on a line to center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. So two away with nobody on. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. In the air, center field. Trammell has this one sized up. Drops into the glove. And that's the third. Back here at Angel Stadium, ready to go for the last half of the inning. So in now for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. Some background on Max Fried. He grew up in Los Angeles. He pitched his high school ball at Harvard Westlake. And he was teammates there with Jack Flaherty and Lucas Giolito. Base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. And at first, here's Christian Arroyo. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right now, there man. after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten it. Didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. At the belt and fires. <laughs> One run game, one out, one on. Step off, throw to first. Tag, and he's picked off. Here's Taylor Trammell. Hey, play the first, play the first. That one the other way. Over to low, third out. One left for Toronto. Down the third baseman, Tristan Yeager. One for three. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. One run across, two runs across now. Another comes in to score. It's 6-1. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm So two down. Now it's the second baseman, Jace Young. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. This to third, Jaeger. Sends it across to first. They limit the damage here. Base is empty with two away. Tristan Jaeger will hit next. Hit hard. That gets through. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. To second. Pulls him off the bag. And it's scored position with two away. Yu Chang now at the plate. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Here's the 0-2. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Green settles under it. 
and puts the squeeze on that. And the inning is over. And next for L.A., Tristan Yeager doubled in his first A.B. Drilled to center. That's way back. And you can't forget it. Home run. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his two outs runner at first. And now here is Tress Barrera. The pitch. To third, Jaeger. Zips it to first. That's out number three. Tristan Jaeger, the next to hit for the Angels. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Dean gliding to his right, brings it in. That is the inning. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Veerling. And the righty deals. Now a bunt towards third. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, that wasn't a suicide squeeze, meaning the runner. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. He's already homered in this game. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. And that ball is out of here. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my it's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in, Tristan Yeager. The pitch. Out to center. Green settles under it. Makes the catch. One up, one down. Here's a big power threat. Tristan Yeager. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the... Next to hit, Tristan Yeager. He's already homered here in this one. Base knock right field. Gonzalez coming home. He scores, and it's 4-0. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. To second for one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. One out, base is empty. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And that one hit to first. Stops it on a slide. Throws to second for one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. All right, ready to go here. Now it's the right fielder, Pedro Uribe. Foul ball there. The line to kick the pitch. Here's a tapper towards short. Chang. One out in the top of the first. Here's Riley Green. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Jaeger, multi-time all-star. He throws a knuckleball, a four-seamer, 
a curve, a fork ball, and he works in a two-seamer. Got it by him for the K. Here's Alex Verdugo. One run batted in yesterday, their only run of the game. And first offering is fouled off. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. On the ground, right side. Arroyo whips it to first. And it's a 1-2. And welcome back. Here's a speed threat, Matt Veerling. That's in there. Strike one. Called strike right there. Assigned to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday. Boog, and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike. That could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a guy out there coming at you with high velocity. Hit weakly on the ground. On to first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one. Out of the third inning, now it's Javier Baez. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Jaeger, a 6'2 southpaw, 210 pounds. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Jaeger makes the grab. And a quick out number one. Now the catcher up to hit, Carter Jensen. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. And the lefty with the 0-1. There's the strike. He goes down looking. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third. And that pitch finished. Right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Spencer Steer, the next to hit, takes ball one. The one two spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another Three. The punch out there down on strikes and he knew it as we go to the top of the fourth and now the right fielder Pedro Uribe and there's the strike. Swing and a miss. And that's a little bit high. It's a good take. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. I mean, trying to hit that pitch immediately okay. after seeing a good fastball in the pitch before, Riley. just a brutal task, man. I, I don't envy this at all. You almost have to sit fastball and hope you get one you can put in place so you don't have to deal with the potential of seeing the knuckleball with two strikes. Sets him down looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. And up next for Detroit, Alex Verdugo. And that's in there for strike one. The Tigers yet to pick up a hit here. Next offering popped in the air, right field. And Verdugo is set down. And that ends the inning. Back in Anaheim, now the batter now, Matt Veerling. The wind of the pitch. And there's the strike. Well, these Tigers just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. 
And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. Weimer moving in on this one. Long run, tracks it down. And there's one down. Young, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. That one finds the corner, and it's nothing in two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. And the hitter's mind. Mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Weimer makes the catch. Two down. And here is number 51. And fouled off. The 0 1. Swing at a ball popped up. Arroyo on his horse. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. Welcome back. The batter now, Javier Baez. Baez, a former Gold Glove winner, 34-year-old vet, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Kicks and fires. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Got him swinging. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Jensen now in the box oh, no. comes up empty with a swing there and he's down 0-2 oh, no. as he swings through it one down base is empty stays alive Hit on the ground, and it gets through. Just like that, the perfect game is gone. Here's the third baseman, Spencer Steer. His first at bat was a strikeout. Steer goes 5 feet, 11 inches, 185 pounds, and he was a third-round pick back in 2019. Pitch is in for a strike. Oh, a two now. Got him looking. And there's two away. Maybe a little bit of overthinking at the plate right there. You want to be patient with knuckleballers and not give into that pitch that's going to dart out of the zone at the very last moment. But that was about as hittable as knuckleballs can get. And he was frozen. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. New inning getting started. Here's the center fielder, Riley Green. Swing and a pop-up. Vientos under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Verdugo at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Strike two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Weimer settles under this one, and that is that. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Jace Young. Going one. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. The one-two. Lifted in the air, out to left. Guriel handles the chance. No action in the bullpen, though. Looks like they're going to let him stay out there. And first offering is fouled off. The old one. And a swing and a miss. In the air, right field. 
two away now. Two outs, base is empty. And next up for the Tigers, Javier Baez. Tapped softly on the ground, and he grabs it in foul ground. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Back here at Angel Stadium, we go to the ninth. And here's the catcher, Carter Jensen. Jaeger back to work. First pitch swinging. Swings through that one out in front that time. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Yeah, left-handed batter facing a left-handed pitcher that's got some sink like that at the end. It's just the bottom falls out of it when it looks like it's going to be a pretty good pitch in that location that everyone says lefties love. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. That's towards center. Weimer sizing this one up. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels win the last two to take the three-game series. 8-0 is how this one ends. For Chris. Judge. So digging in, Tristan Yeager, the leading home run hitter in the American League. Come on, big dog, keep it rolling. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. And in one hops the wall. Low, around third, Caminero. With a relay throw, the tag out. But one run does score. So one out, nobody on. Tristan Yeager getting ready to hit. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Bounce to third, me. Fires to second for one and that's two. One hit. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Swings and sends a rocket to right. And it hits the fence. The run comes in from second, and now they trail by one. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. Couple of doubles today for the DH. Right hander kicks deals. Bounce to the left side. Now two away as they get a run across. Here's Christian Arroyo. And the right hander deals. And here's a slow roller. In plenty of time to first inning over and it one down, runner at first. And next is the designated hitter, Tristan Yeager. Swung on, belted. That's back. 
gone. There was a fastball down the middle. I don't. He's two outs away. Now it's the DH for the Angels. Tristan Yeager. He's already homered in this game. In the air to left center. Back there. One runs in, slams off the bottom of the wall. He's in safely at second. And we are tied. Two runs score. Yeah, that, that's a big time clutch performance, Boog. Top of the ninth. Your team needs you to come through. And you deliver a game tying RBI base hit. Now let's see if. It... On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. He's out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice now job that. of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Go ahead, run on base. Christian Arroyo digs in now. Bomber deals. Back to the mound. In plenty of time to first. They miss a big chance. Runner in scoring position. No outs. And now it's the Angels' cleanup batter. Tristan Yeager. He's already homered here in this one. And a pitch in the air right center field this is demolished way back and gone well he put a really nice swing on that one. so now the dh spot tristan hey, yeager hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up swing and that ball smashed on a line mullins snags it on the run 15-12 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. One down, and here is Tristan Yeager. Blasted two home runs in last night's game. That one ripped right center field. That's back there, and that one is out of here. Well, the guy's got a real hard fast. One out, base is empty, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Rodolfo Castro. Singled and scored his first time, and he lays down a bunt. Bare hand grab throw to first not in time that's a bunt single the center fielder number two nearly a highlight reel Thanks play at third but the bare hand grab oh, still wasn't enough to get the out great effort to make that play as close as it was though And next for the now Angels, back. Tristan Yeager. He's Good already game. homered in this one. Yeager. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Well, made it so comfortable for his club to secure that win. Very fresh team today, and it doesn't have to be all on him, but the way he's been swinging it, I expect him to have another big one. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one is going to go. He's done it again. His man at first, Rodolfo Castro will hit next. Rodolfo Castro. Grounder might be two. Jaeger over to second, on to first, double play. I think there's always something. Two outs, nobody on. So in now for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one is gone. That's his third home run of the game. And they cut into the lead. So two down and stepping in for the Rays, number 97. That's to third, Yeager. Throws across the diamond, inning over.
Wood for Tampa. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels. There's a swing and a drive. Gone! Wow, this is awesome. Rodolfo Castro, the next to hit. One down, base is empty. On the ground to third. Over to low. Okay. Yeah, they get the out. The center fielder, number two. Well, this is definitely a rarity. A one-pitch save. You come into the ball game, so much pressure. Don't know what's going to happen. And fortunately, you make the pitch, you get the out, and everyone has a big sigh of relief. Final score of 8-6 to six in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chumby saying so long from Tampa Bay. For the Angels, six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 42 minutes. And welcome in. All right, just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Shane McClanahan. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career. And no one can get there. It falls in. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Cut off. Throw to third. In there safely. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Yu Chang, the next to hit for the Angels. Two for six so far in the series. Come on, big guy. And here it comes. On the ground to third. Franco, jump throw, and he's safe as the run scores from third. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, number 97. Grounded out his first time up. That's to third, slides, he's got it. Fires to first, nicely done for the out. Stepping in the long ball threat, Tristan Yeager. He tripled and scored his first time. Tristan Yeager. Come on, big guy. McClanahan back to work. Well hit the other way, that one going back and foul. Well, pitcher's probably thinking he's a little late on that pitch, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed him up, not give him something off speed that he can handle. Now this is in the air down the line. He makes the grab, two down. And next for L.A., Tristan Yeager, one for two. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Here's Otani flying around third. He will score, and it's now a two-run game. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind the way that he's... Ah, oh, that's strike three, and the third out. So we... Back now in Tampa Bay. Now the third baseman, Tristan Yeager. Beats, goes five feet, 11 inches, 215 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. That one ripped. And that ball is gone. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the, the win on the last day of the month. You close it out with the W, but you want to carry that momentum into the next game. 7-3 is how this one ends. Almost ready to get underway. And today's starting pitcher, Tyler Glass now. What do we need to know here? 
His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day. And the throw to first is there to put an end to the... Back here at Tropicana Field, start of the fourth. Now it's the DH, okay. Tristan Yeager. Glass now, back to work. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Mullins makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Not fooled at all right there. He so here's the cleanup hitter, Tristan Yeager. Let's go right here. The right-hander back to work. And a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Kerry <laughs> Carpenter, the next to hit for the Angels, who's Gary. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Carpenter. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's Christian Arroyo, one for two. Glass now, ready to deals. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Mullins pulls it down, and there are two outs. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. This one pretty. And now the DH, Tristan Yeager, one for three. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it's gone! He powers one out to right field, and they inch closer. It's 10-2. to I'd say these guys really needed to win this game. To A coach draws a player's attention to a recent trend in his numbers. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jorge Mateo. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And downstairs. They're off to a great start, three-run lead after their first inning, but so important to be airtight defensively. Don't give away extra outs and allow that other club to get back in this ballgame. And now one and two. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. On the ground, Arroyo gets it to first and two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. That Eloy is, Jimenez now. No left Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Vientos drifts towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Back here in Boston. Bottom half of inning number two. And here is Devers. In the air, out towards right center. Weimer should have this ball, one. Pulls it in for the out. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. That's in for a strike. Jaeger, a former Cy Young Award winner, he throws a knuckleball, a four-seamer, a curve, a fork ball, and he works in a two-seamer. 
Got it by him for the K. Well, a pretty big contrast to that at bat. First couple of pitches down in the zone, and those are competitive pitches, so you have to respect it as a hitter. And then with two strikes, ran that fastball by him up high, and there was just no catching up. Next offering is in for a strike. Fell off to a great start. He's really well looked at the fastball for strike three there to end the inning. As we go to the last of the third, Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Tap back to the mound. Over to low. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. And next is the designated hitter, Nico Cavadas. Swung on, popped up left side. No, I got it. Grabs it on the run. And yeah, there's two away. So two down now, and here is Marcelo Meyer. In the air, left side. And it falls. Around first and hustling for second. The throw to second is offline. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Next pitch has popped up. Jaeger puts the squeeze on that one. And that. Bottom four. And now the center fielder, Yoelki Cespedes. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. One down. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? Wow. You know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox. Two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won that ball game. And then Sunday, they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. Swings and misses struck him out. Devers in the box now. No balls in a strike. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. Right through there, got him. And good work there as he gets a one. Back now at Fenway, bottom of the inning, and now the switch hitting catcher. Francisco Mejia. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. On the ground to the left. Beautiful night here at Fenway Park. I'm going to try to take a picture here, partner, while you're calling the play-by-play. I mean, we have great angles for some award-winning photos over the course of the season. That is true. And he grounds one back up the middle, sends it to first. Oh man for the fifth inning, moving along two quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Pajes puts the squeeze on that one, and that is... Back here in Boston. Now, here is Nico Cavadas. First offering, and it just misses. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Swing and a miss, and a count one and two. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Nasty fork ball for strike three. Oh, he's been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, this guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Popped up. Mine, mine, mine. I got it. Arroyo right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Yoelki Cespedes up next for the Red Sox. 
Bounce to third. Vientos. That's the third out. Inning over. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Bottom of the seventh. And stepping in for Boston. Aloy Jimenez. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Clips the corner. No balls. Two strikes. Swing and a ball popped up. He's got it. And there's one away. Here's Rafael Devers. In there for strike one. Swing. And a miss. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Mejia in the box again. Takes a strike. Strike two. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third. On to the bottom of the eighth. Joe stepping in for Boston. Brandon Drury. Swings and misses. 1-1. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. In the air, right side, Pajes glides to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Story in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Swing and a miss. And they Count one and one. No action in the bullpen, though. Looks like they're going to let him stay out there. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two outs, space is empty. Nico Cavadas up next for the Red Sox. In there, and it's 0-1. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Got him swinging. Red Sox go down 1-2-3. They trail in this one, 3-0. Back in Boston, so bottom of the nine. And stepping in for Boston, Marcelo Meyer. Dribbled up the third baseline, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Next offering is in for a strike. Struck him out looking. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink oh, things, and I think that was the case right there. And a ground ball to first, and he grabs it foul. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. Man, that thing just barely got the zone, so you almost can't blame the guy for laying off. I mean, with the way knuckleballs dart all over the place, realistically, that could have just as easily missed by four or five inches. It's such a tough pitch to not overcommit to, so sometimes you just hold up and hope it dances out of the zone. Carpenter throws to second and he'll pull into second with two gone. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Now batting left fielder. Aloy. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. They're down to their final strike. 
Fouls it off. Still one and two. Cespedes at second with two down. On the ground right side. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. A shutout in this one. Three nothing. Our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Tristan Yeager, the next to hit for the Angels, leading the AL in batting average. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Kerry Carpenter, the next to hit for the Angels. Eighth in the AL in homers right now. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. It's 2-0. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. One for one with a double and a run score. There's a swing and a drive. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner at first with two away. Tristan Yeager now at the plate. One for two. Into center. Sanchez gets under it. And makes the grab. And that is the... So now here's the DH. Tristan Yeager. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Bednar, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curve, and occasionally works in a splitter. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Throws to second. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Right-handed reliever on the ground. Story tosses to first. Now two out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Christian Arroyo. Hey, drive him in. Meet you right here. And he hits a ground ball right side. Story sends it over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Back inside Fenway Park. Here's the third baseman, Tristan Yeager. And there's a foul ball. Mata, the reigning rookie of the year. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a curve. Sometimes at Fenway, you just got to think about trying to hit it to the back of the bullpen, right? Right. Drive it over the bullpen. I mean, if you've got pop, put on a show. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Kerry Carpenter, the next to hit for the Angels. Swung on, belted. Sanchez raging back towards the wall. Looking up, and it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Yu Chang, the next to hit for the Angels. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Off the bat, I thought there were... Up the middle. Tosses to first, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. And now it's going to be Tristan Yeager. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's got a chance. And that one is gone. Power versus power, right? 
Here's a big power threat. Tristan Yeager. He's already homered in this game. That's a base hit as a run scores. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He's safe as they score a pair on the play. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. Throw to second. He's out. But they do get a run. So up next, Tristan Yeager. He's already homered here in this one. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. And out of here. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that. So digging in, Tristan Yeager. Line drive, base hit. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. And a one-two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And he's Base is full, two gone. And next for the Angels, Tristan Yeager. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Sanchez going back on it. And that's out of here. Grand slam. Took on the big part of the yard. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to...